Hello traders, this is Mike Billion. Today is June 10, 2015, and let's talk about the positions we have opened in our portfolio. We have two new positions today. They are very aggressive positions. I want to explain why I entered those positions, the targets, and the stops. So put attention. Let's start with I, IYT, the iShares Transportations. This trade, I closed half of the trade because I was afraid of Greece signing an agreement and that's what it happens today and what that's why the market went up today but it's perfectly uh, the other half that we left is perfectly valid I think we're gonna get to 147 probably next week now there is a huge resistance at the 20 simple moving average if if the bulls take out the 20 simple moving average I will switch bullish but I don't think that's gonna happen since the DMI is bearish and ADX is trending a little so I'm thinking that 147 mid July or next mid uh, June on next week is high probabilities, and that's why I'm holding those half position. Now let's talk about the IWM, the IWM, the iShares Russo. We also have half position in July puts, and we entered an aggressive position using June weekly puts today, and it's a perfect. As a perfect um, trade that I wanted to explain to you why I entered that trade. Look at this huge resistance right here. We fell in March. We went there the second day that we break out that 126 Fibonacci. The next day didn't confirm down. Then we went there uh, mid April. The second day that we break out the level. The second day didn't confirm down. Then at the July that was April 27. The same we went there down so now we here and we break out there but we didn't hold about 126 so if the bulls take out uh, today's high which is 126.48 I will be saying that this is gonna go to the top of the major uptrend channel which is around 128 but as, as you can see here this is a perfect trade because it's ag resistant because it's a lateral resistant there and because DMI is bearish. Why is bearish? Because the minus directional is at 22 and the plus directional is at 21. ADX is, is, um, is at 12, but at this resistance, I'm thinking that we might go down and test again 123 or the 50 moving average. Now let's talk about the spider. We also entered an aggressive position in the spider using June weekly puts. Those puts have 16 days of expiration so now let's talk about this one look at this huge resistance right here it make lower highs some people were like cheering like oh my god this is this is heaven we're gonna go up this is no i don't see anything i don't see the the shearing yeah we went up you know but there's the the five simple movement average is pointing down it break that it break down the 50 uh, we got a bounce here, a lateral resistance at the 20. There is a lateral resistance, and this is our stop. This is our stop. If the price take out this blue line right here, I will close the position with probably 30 or 40% pro, uh, loss. But this is high probability based on our major indicator, which is DMI. Look at DMI. It went to the top. It fell. But there is a lot of, lot of, a lot of room right here for the plus directional. But this is totally bearish, and I think this is going to go down. So keep an eye on this one tomorrow. So now let's talk about the last one. Let's talk about the other one that, that I have on my, <clears throat> on my watch list that I have been watching. This is Amazon. Amazon is still uh, inside this uh, rectangle. It didn't break out today besides all the shearing on the market. It just sustained the triangle. So what I'm watching is 436.64 uh, and the in the bottom, which is um, 4, 416. So I'm keeping an eye on this one because I wanted to go long on this one if there is a breakout right here because I think it can go easily to 454. So those are the trades that we have. We have IWM, we have IYT, and we have the spider. We have two aggressive positions. Let's see what happens tomorrow. This is everything for today. Trade on.